This week, Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo returned to work after taking several weeks off to receive treatment for depression. Tonight, in a CBS News KHOU 11 exclusive, we are hearing from Hidalgo for the very first time since her treatment. She sat down with CBS News senior political correspondent Ed O'Keefe, who joins us now. Ed, thanks for joining us. How did she seem? Len, I think uh, constituents will be relieved to know she seems pretty hopeful, optimistic, and relieved, frankly, that she was able to get this treatment over the summer, saying uh, that it was something she really needed to do, grappled with the potential consequences for her public role, but ultimately realized that if she didn't take this step, it had the potential to cause grave harm to herself. At one point during your interview, Ed, she admits to struggling with the decision to step away from her job. Let's take a listen. I called some folks um, that I trust and I said, hey, is there any way I could take a leave or some sort of like sabbatical, something like that? I mean, something is really wrong. And people said, no, I mean, you're, you're an executive. Politically, you'd never survive it. And so it was, it was challenging, but I knew I, I love my job. I don't, I don't want to have to give that up because I have a health problem. I knew somewhere within me that it was appropriate for me to take care of myself without having to give up a job that I love. I mean, that's a, there's a reason why, you know, leave exists, health leave and um, maternity leave. And, you know, it's, it's, it's the same idea. What did you think constituents would think? Um, I was trying, at some point I had to make myself stop thinking about that because I would have never left. Obviously feeling the uh, pressure of whether to leave the job or not, at least temporarily. Ed, many Houstonians struggled during the pandemic. I wonder if Hidalgo mentioned if it affected her in any way. It did to some extent, Lynn, but a lot of what she's facing uh, and what she will continue to work through it, it is something that began long before she was in public life. She says this traces back to when she was about 24 years old and dropped out of law school and began to realize that she was feeling depressed. A, a doctor later suggested to her it was anxiety. That was ultimately a misdiagnosis. And it was over the summer that she realized that she had to go. But she acknowledged not only this is something difficult potentially for a lot of constituents to take the time to do and could be expensive, uh, but it's something that's become far too common and needs to be talked about in a much broader way. And that's part of the reason why she wanted to reach a national audience, in addition, of course, to those of you in the Houston area, because she realizes now that what she was able to work through is something that so many others there in Harris County, across Texas and across the country are dealing with, either because of the pandemic or because they've had long simmering other issues that they've just never had a chance to address. Ed, thank you so much. And tonight at 10 o'clock, we'll have more of your interview with Lena Hidalgo, who will respond to criticism from those who said she should have resigned because of her mental health. And you can watch Ed O'Keefe's entire interview with Lena Hidalgo tomorrow morning on CBS Mornings.